Okay, welcome back. We are going to grate some cheese for the pizza. I'm excited. We're going to do a mixture. I'm going to go ahead and grate it all. I won't need it all, but I will grate it all. Maybe, I don't think so, but we'll grate it all. It's going to do a couple of grades per kind, so it gets good mixed up already. going to be um, slicing some peppers. I'll use this knife here. We might need all this. And we are making pepperoni and sausage pizza. And the peppers. So we're going to have pepperoni, peppers, and sausage on there cheese and pizza sauce. I got pizza sauce. I'm so excited that I got pizza sauce and don't have to make it. dropped a piece of cheese on the floor. He's like, you do it. Well, let me come clean that up for you. It's right here, baby. Right there. Here, you can have this piece, too. <laughs> here you go. You fell on that one. Huh. That's it. Oh, there's one more little tiny chunk right here you can have. There. That's it. That's it. It's all gone now. All gone for now. All gone for now. There you go. That's a good boy. Make sure all the cheese is out of there. There's a little bit left in there. Let's get all the crumbs out. I'll just do all the dishes later. I'm only going to kind of clean that bagel. <laughs> Need some but melted butter for the dessert pizza. It's going to be so good. Oh, this cheese stuck in there. There we go. This counter has been washed like three times in the last half hour. So I think I'm good. Wash my hands about five times, six times in the last half hour. Uh, you know, you gotta wash your hands after you sweep your floor if you're gonna go right back into the kitchen. You know what I mean? Alright, so the lid to this. It's a little damp still. I don't want the cheese to get wet, so. Yeah. These pizzas are gonna be delicious. I wanna say, home gourmet pizzas for sure we're gonna get our instapot down or i mean our um air fryer down and we're gonna air fry and roast some peppers and we're gonna cut up some garlic we're gonna roast some coconut it's gonna be delicious all right so there's the meat for the pizza there's the sauce for the pizza there's the cheese for the pizza now i gotta get Stuff out of the way for now because I'm gonna I have to set the air fryer there. There we go. And we're just gonna set that stuff right get that there. I like to have lots of room around the air fryer so I don't burn anything. Alright, so we're gonna get our air fryer out. Handle. It's not that heavy. 
but it's got these grippies on the bottom that grip to the refrigerator. There we are. I think this is a good place right here. And set the wire at the end there. Get it plugged in. And preheating. Let's see. We're going to use, I think we'll do the um, coconut first. Oh, it's going to be good. I'll need this cutting board to set it on when it gets hot. I'll pull it out. So we're going to use um, our silicone insert. For the coconut, we're going to put our insert in there, just like that. And we're going to take the coconut. Oh, we got to preheat it first, so let's get it preheating. There we go. Doesn't sound good. Like the fans are going to go out on it. Am I banging it around too much? Okay, please fix. Please. It doesn't sound like the fan is working hard. So we're going to put some coconut in here. And we want to make sure it's all broken up. Just a nice little layer. I love my air fryer, by the way. <laughs> it's my first one. I've, I've had it. Got it for Christmas. Me and my husband put our money together and got it. That and the uh, Instapot. We spent like 10 more dollars than what we had budgeted, so not bad. Okay, so we're just going to do a nice little layer like that. So a nice little layer like that, and when the preheating is done, we'll put that in there. I want to say for about three minutes. So that's what we're waiting on right now. Um, I, we can get the peppers out. Assess the peppers. Let's see what do we got here. Oh, because I know I got them. Here's some right here. I think that's the last of the peppers. Let's make sure I don't have any peppers in here. Should I do regular onions? I think I shall. I already cut up a onion though, so why not? Oh, we're gonna get some cut up some garlic as well. to set it that it can handle the heat. Now we're going to take our silicone and set it right on in there like that. We're going to push it back in. 20 minutes. No, we want three minutes because then we'll stir it and put it back in for maybe another three. We'll see how, how well it toasts. We got three minutes to get this garlic <laughs> chopped up. Chopping up the garlic. Got a little bit of peel left on there.
Ah. Use the back of the knife. I learned that from Anchor Homestead. Go check her out. She's a good channel. Oh, yeah. See, it doesn't take time at all. It's like a minute and a half. It looks delicious, though. I need a bowl to put it in. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Look at that. Wow. A minute and a half. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so we're going to put this in a bowl. And the good thing about these silicone, I wish I had more room. <laughs> but the good thing about these little silicone things is you can just carefully reach in there and pull out the whole thing. And then the silicone is slightly hot, so be careful. But just get it poured in the bowl like that. And what you got left over? A clean a clean clean air fryer. We're going to let it sit like that and cool. Oh, well, we got the, the peppers to roast, but look at that. And you can, can you still see the steam? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That is, oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I'll tell you what, there's nothing like roasted coconut. It's amazing. All right, that's ready. We're going to set that aside. We're going to put these little, use some um, garlic in here because it's going to go on the pizza later. Be ready to go though. It's all ready to go, chopped up into little pieces. Three cloves is all you need. Now it's fine. A little bit here and Okay, done with garlic, done with the coconut. Now we're going to roast these peppers, get these peppers roasted. Tell you what, delicious. It is going to be delicious. We got green, we got yellow, we got green. We got green and yellow. <laughs> All the red is gone. All the red is gone. bit of green from the top. I'm glad I saved the top. Just enough. Just enough green. We're going to cut that piece off right there. I'll use all those. Why not? I'm going to get the others. Silicone. Thank God I got two of them. I had three, but I gave one to a friend that didn't have one. She goes, hey, I, I don't have one of those. And I said, oh, well, here you go. I got three. <laughs> now I got two and she's got one, which is totally cool. Her and her husband and children and me and my husband are going to have a game night soon, so I'm excited for that. Hopefully that will come up soon. You know, just the holidays were just here, so we don't need to do anything right away, but it would be nice to keep the friendship going for sure. My husband had such a good time, and I believe her husband had a really good time as well. I'm just going to cut that one a little thinner. Perfect. Get these green ones in here. Okay, we're going to get this preheated again, I guess. 
So we need air fry 400 is fine. Preheat. Start. Okay, so we've got to get that preheated again. It shouldn't take very long. And then we're going to roast these peppers. I wish we had some red ones, but we don't. Unfortunately, we have used all the red ones. Now we have used them all. That is the last of the peppers. Last of our fresh veggie. Well, we got salad. We can do a salad with the pizza. That's cool, too. We got salad stuff still. So, and I found some sugar, but we are out of milk and we're, I, we're not out of butter though. Let me get some of that going. I'm gonna use a cube, got plenty of butter, which is a good thing. I always like to stock up on the cubed butter. This is my last box. I think I bought two boxes. So I'm glad I did that on my shopping trip. Because we're going to take one of these and we're going to take a bowl. So we use this bowl. And we're going to soften this butter up. And I, I'm just making this shit up as I go. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Does it say add food yet? No? Come on. Maybe if I turn it down, it would preheat faster. I'm not sure I want it at 400. And I'm gonna, I'm just making this dessert pizza up as I go. So, stick full of butter for the dessert pizza. Dessert pizza. Okay, I'll shut up now. <laughs> Don't quit your day job. Don't have a choice. Ow. And I made my body hurt by dancing. By dancing just a little bit. Okay, so let's get this in there. So let's add food. Okay, so how am I going to do this with this in the way, right? Just like that, one-handed. Spread that around again. And I'm going to say three minutes. It's going to automatically go to 20 because I'm just using like the auto setting and then adjusting it, which is fine. So I'm going to say three minutes on that. And then we're going to be ready to assemble this pizza. Exciting. How exciting. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Butter is nice and softened. Hot will melt, but it's not melted. That's why I just let it be. It'll be fine. If it's not, I'll put it back in the microwave. All right, set that aside for now. Got the oven preheating? No? Yes? Do I? Is the oven preheated? Okay, yeah, it looks like the oven is preheated. So this is what we're waiting for. And I'm, I'm almost 100% sure it's going to be worth the wait. Onion, garlic, and we got sausage and pepperoni. Pepperoni doesn't take long to thaw, so it looks like it's already thawed and ready to go. Yay! Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start on this. This right up off of here, and we're gonna spray the pan with some olive oil. Spray. I like that crispy bottom. Good way to a piece of coconut. Alright, so it's been a minute now. Let's check them. Okay, they're going to take longer. So I think maybe we'll just wait at this point. I don't want anything. I don't want this to get soggy. We're going to move this over here. Bring the pepperoni back to us. So um, I'm actually going to add to another three minutes, make it four because I was at one, and then I'll be back. Okay, I think these are done now. Yes, they look done. I added a little bit of olive oil to them so they wouldn't be so dry. The silicone is hot. Oh, it is hot. 
but you could do this without touching it. And your Instapot is still clean. That's amazing. I love it. And I love the little silicone. Okay, we're going to let it cool like that before we put it back up. And I didn't like roast them a lot, but I got the flavors going. Uh oh, I dropped one. No, you can't have it, dog. It's a Peppa. <laughs> but yeah, they're they're nice and soft and brown around the edges. And then they'll also cook in the oven with the pizza. So I didn't want to overcook them. You know what I mean? So you can see they're roasted a little bit. And they're going to roast more in the oven with the pizza. So I didn't want to overdo it. Maybe a little bit more would have been good, but I'm okay with that. Okay, now we're going to assemble the pizza. The oven is preheated and ready to go. So I'm going to unplug that. Just pop that door open again. Okay. Now we're going to start off with the sauce, obviously. I believe this is brand new. Yes. been in my cabinet for uh, probably a month, six weeks maybe, so it'll be fine. It has an expiration date, probably like after you open it, expiration date. I don't see anything. <laughs> I do not see an expiration date. Making pizza made easy. Get a back with a spoon and then spread that to the edges. I like to build it up a little around the edges because usually no toppings end up there. <laughs> Slightly spread that around. Might do just a tad bit more. I like pizza sauce. Spread around. Perfect. All right. That's good. Done with that. We're going to set that over there. And now we're going to put the garlic on. Spread that around. Just sprinkle it around. All the little bits. Okay. We're going to do some onions. Just a little bit. We're just going to sprinkle a few around here. Okay, like that. And then we're going to do a little layer of cheese. I end up using all this. <laughs> Cheese. Mmm, it's looking good already. Alright, a little layer of cheese there. Now we're going to put some sausage on there. Just break it up and sprinkle it around been in the refrigerator. They're all broken up. That sausage. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Layer of sausage there. Spread them over. 
Oh my gosh, that looks so good. My husband doesn't like olives. I wish he did. I can, I can put olives on half and he's okay with that. Even if I probably won't eat half. <laughs> Throw all these slices out here. Pop those on. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. <laughs> yes, sorry, Bob. Yummy. It's going to be delicious. One more. They are. Let's scoot them out to the edge a little bit. Good pizza. I wish you could join me in eating this pizza. My husband will enjoy it though. I shall enjoy it for lunch and he shall enjoy it for dinner. And we're going to do the rest of the peppers. Let's get them over anywhere, here, there, and everywhere. There we are. The rest of the sausage. do a whole nother layer of pepperoni, but I'm going to do just a couple scattered pizzas. Like that. And now for the rest of the cheese. <laughs> this is all the rest of the cheese. Um, the block cheese. We still have some slices in there for sandwiches. And I got cream cheese. I'll use that if I could. Not on the pizza bit. Oh, I suppose you could, but I don't know. Maybe ricotta. All right. And this is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes. 17 to 20 minutes. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? All right. I'll be back when it's done. I put it on for 15. I'm going to check it at 15 minutes. So now we're going to start with the um, dessert pizza. Okay. Get this cleaned up from the other one. one more pizza which is cool one more pepperoni pizza with the sauce and everything
you're going to mix cinnamon and sugar and the butter. I think this is softened enough. Yeah. Nice and creamy. Perfect. It's ready to go. Okay. So now we're going to add some cinnamon. Not too much. You could put always put more in, but you can't take out. So start with a little bit. Oh, that smells so good. And, and you want about three times as much sugar as you did put the cinnamon or five times as much. A couple nice big spoonfuls. See how it's going there. Get it all good and mixed up. Really, all, you need to just do a taste test to make sure. See how it's like nice and creamy, cinnamon sugar. Oh, it's going to be so good. Oh yeah, it's going to be good. A little taste. I'm going to give it a little bit more kick. That's about perfect, I think. Got a couple of little lumps of cinnamon and sugar in there. Okay, let's take let's do another test. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So when this other pizza is ready, we'll assemble the dessert one and get that in the oven. It's going to be delicious. And I'm happy to know I have sugar. I can make tea, I can make Kool-Aid, I can make drinks. So We're still running strong, not to say. We're still running strong. Then get the rest of these clean dishes put away. And then I will... Bring the bucket out. So I will be back when this pizza in the oven is done. I should have split them. Anyways, I'm just going to do them all the same. I'm at 34. Maybe I'll do part one, part two. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so now we're going to make the glaze for the streusel, the cinnamon pizza, dessert pizza. We're going to start off with a little bit of cream because that's all I have. <laughs> I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla. Spoon in some powdered sugar. A nice tablespoons full. Mix that up. See where we're at. And add more sugar. We're just looking for a glaze. Get another spoon so I can add more sugar without putting that spoon back in there. Just do a couple of spoonfuls at a time. So like four tablespoons ought to be right, just about right. And we're going to have to whisk this because we don't want any lumps in it. So we did four. Let's do one more heaping tablespoons. Yeah, that's about right. There we go. Okay, now we're going to get the whisk and whisk this really well. Get on the sides and get it nice and creamy. Okay. And here is, it's just as simple as that. Glaze for cinnamon rolls, whatever. Yep. There you go. Cookies, streusel, like what I'm making, the cinnamon, cinnamon sugar, coconut. It's going to be delicious. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, so let's get all this put away. I still have a little bit of cream left. Yahoo. I'm being creative and making do without going to the grocery store. 
I believe we are completely out of meat, but I'll have to be, eat meat every day. Just drink some protein, a protein shake. Have some collagen protein. I should drink a shake. I should put that in my cherry cherry uh, smoothie that I'm gonna make myself today. I made one the other day. Oh my god, it was so good. I gotta show this. I gotta show this to these people. It was delicious. It was a cherry. California orange cherry, California orange cherry smoothie. It was delicious. Just make sure there's no lumps and it is all good. Let's do a little taste test on that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Perfect. I think this is cooled off enough. It cools off pretty fast. Mm, yeah, it's cooled off enough. I don't know what happened to the cord. I should just put a rubber band around this. I've got to find my rubber bands. I don't know where the, the thingy went, but it's there somewhere. I'll find it. I hope it's not in the food. <laughs> That'd be funny. Nah, it wouldn't be funny, but it wouldn't. It would. I don't think so. I'll look again. I probably brushed it into the garbage. I spilled the coconut. Or maybe that wasn't out yet. Because it's not in the coconut. Not there. That's where I put it. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh dear me. Did it go in the pizza? Darn it. Not in here. No, it's not in there. Oh my gosh, I don't know where it went. It probably went into the garbage. I'm going to assume it went into the garbage with like the cheese wrapping or something. I don't see it, but and if it's in that pizza, I'm going to be pissed. It better not be in the pizza. It's got like four more minutes left to go. I'm just going to see this stuff back here. Make it a mess as usual. I'm going to assume it went in the garbage. So this is where I'll put the pizza when it comes out. It's not even ready yet, dude. You know what? It might be ready. Move, please. I believe our pizza is ready. So I did it for um, about 12 minutes, I guess. I think it's ready. It looks ready to me. Does that not look ready to you? It certainly looks ready to me. All right, there's our pizza. Now we can put in our dessert pizza in the oven. So I'm just gonna set this over there to cool. Probably get it off the pan. Probably a good idea to get it off the pan. Get it off the pan, man. I can do this without breaking the pizza. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see how done it is under there. Oh, it's perfect. Oh my God, it's golden brown. I'm gonna show you. Okay, here we go. Isn't that beautiful? Nice golden brown. All right, I don't wanna break it. So there it is, my pizza pie. And now we're gonna move to the dessert pizza. Okay, I'm gonna move this over. Get this pan out of the way and bring out our dessert pizza. Oh, we need that pan. Yeah, we need the pan for the dessert pizza. So we're just going to take a paper towel and wipe off the other stuff here. I need to spray it again because it's still oily from the other pizza. So that's perfect actually. Okay, so we're going to put this on there. We're going to spread some just on there. Just pop it all on there. And when I 
say all, I mean all. Get it all on there. Every last yummy drop. Uh-oh. Now I'm just making a mess. All right. I don't want it on the crust part. Mmm. It's going to be good. Spread this around like we do the sauce. I didn't turn the timer off from pizza. It looks so good. My husband likes his dessert pizza as well. Okay, just swirl it like that. Get it nice and covered in there. There we are. Why not, right? <laughs> now we're going to take the coconut and just sprinkle that over the top. Mm, nice thick layer of the roasted coconut. Don't have to use it all. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? All right, that is beautiful. All right, so now we're going to put this in the oven, and I'm going to put a timer of about eight, uh, eight, seven, eight minutes on it. So we're going to check it after about seven minutes. about seven minutes. It is on 450, so it's going to be done quickly. Yes, that's what the package said. That's not, I'm like, 450, really? Okay. Right over there. Um, let me bring out my cool rack to set that one on. Or, yeah. I'll just set it on this when it comes out. Be fine, and then we'll swirl, swirl this on there. I think that's good consistency for swirling. Yeah, that's good, just like that. All right, a few minutes to go, and I'm gonna go ahead and let this for a second. Get the pizza cutter out. cutting oh my goodness there we go oh okay we got it look i wasn't pressing hard enough the crust got a little crispy i gotta say a little crispy on the crust but overall it looks delicious and i'm sure it's going to taste delicious go ahead where'd it go you can't find it oh did you find it okay piece of crust fell And it's very uh, packed full of stuff. <laughs> so we don't want it to move around too much. There we go. I'm just going to take this little piece here. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Not good. There we go. Mm. All right. I think I'm going to take this piece right here.
I think I, I should have prepped it for 10 minutes. 10 or 12. And crush is a little overdone. Taste-wise, it's amazing. Oh. Uh-oh. I don't know, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, we'll be back when the other pizza is done. And this is a delicious pizza. The crust is not burnt, per se, but it's crispy. So if you don't like crispy crust, which I do, so I think it's delicious. And right away, I tasted the yellow ro yellow roasted potatoes, or the yellow roasted peppers. There's green and yellow on here. I don't think I have a green one on this one, but the second I put it in my mouth and bit down, I could taste that, and it's delicious. It is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Superb. Perfect balance. Definitely try it. Move, please. I don't want you getting hurt. Well. I'm not sure about that. We're going to let it go a little. I'll probably add. Nope. Add about three more minutes to it. Mm, this is very good. Can't help myself. Mmm. Mm, very good. My denture's giving me havoc. <laughs> That's okay. I'll endure the pain to chew this bite and then I'll fix the problem. And I'm worried about this thing. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how it's going to come out, to be honest with you. I probably just screwed everything up. Who knows? I'll be back. Okay, I'm taking it out of the oven. It could be a complete disaster. It doesn't look good. But I'm going to take it off the pan and see what we got here. Nope. I think, I think it's going to dry or cool rock hard I don't know maybe this just wasn't a good idea <laughs> I'm gonna get it off the pan without too much finesse there all right this pan is a disastrous mess I'm just gonna set it right there with this pan here it's clean but it just there's really no place in the cabinet for it <laughs> so I just put it on the stove I guess now it's on my bottles of water so don't fall over don't fall please don't fall okay it might fall i hope not because it will make a huge thing i'm gonna go ahead and add some coconut to the top i think i should have just added it at the end anyways you know it might turn out pretty good we'll see all right this makes it look better i let it cool a little bit before i put that on there yeah <laughs> I should try it, but I'm not sure. I should take this towel out. I think, I think it'll be fine without the towel there. I am making a disastrous mess in my kitchen. Oh my God, and I don't have the energy to clean it all up. I do and I don't. I will and I won't. All right, I made myself one of my favorite drinks. This is ginger ale orange juice and 
I don't have grenadine, but it, what I do have is the maraschino cherry juice, and it go. It is bomb. Try it. Tastes like a delicious sweet pink grapefruit, and there's not a stitch grapefruit in there. So yeah, yummy. Let's see if we can maybe cut a little piece of this. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to use that. I might want to cut it into squares. I don't know, maybe not. Let's see. I don't have two pizza cutters. I used to have two pizza cutters, but now I only have one. I think I'll use the pizza cutter. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to turn out. But we want to probably. Nothing that scalding hot water won't care. <laughs> I'm kidding. So we want to put the streusel on before we cut it, right? Okay, let's do that. Let's try that. Maybe it's not quite. Oh, you know, that's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. There we go. Those little water. A mess of the streusel. Probably not the best tool to use for streuseling something, but and that's probably way too much, but I don't care. There you go. Let's see if we can cut it now. It's hard. It's definitely hard as a rock. <laughs> it is on the, um, the grate, so it's not going to cut very well on that. We're going to go straight onto the counter. I don't want to do it, but I have to. But I'm going to anyway. Oh, I see. Once I cut it, some of the butter is um, coming up. So maybe we will just take um, the back of a spoon again. And we'll just make this look a little better. There we go. We'll just put a coat of this kind of streusling it on. We'll coat it on there. Yeah, I don't think it's going to turn out. Um, my expectation of this is very low because I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> nope. It's going to cut because it's too hard. It's a fail. Nope, wait. Maybe not yet. I'm going to cut a piece to taste it, that's for sure. <laughs> Tell you that the frosting is delicious. <laughs> there, I got it. Ha! Huh. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I think it's a fail. I think it's a major fail. Epic fail. Sorry, guys, I failed you. <laughs> so the flavor is delicious. It really is, but the crust is um, quite okay. Yeah, the flavor is really, really good. I would say some toast, maybe or something. But bye bye. Gotta go. It's got it. It's gotta happen. That was an epic fail. The pizza is delicious. The dessert pizza sucked ass. So, there you go. Can't win them all. I thought it was a good idea. Maybe I didn't make it thick enough. Maybe I'll, I'll probably put way too much butter in it, is what I did. I used like a whole half cup of butter. That, yeah, that was too much. So I would say like two tablespoons maybe would be the ideal 
but the flavor is delicious with the coconut. It really is. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to make it a lot thicker and way less better. And it's going to be amazing because the flavor is delicious. The cinnamon, the sugar, and the coconut, oh my God. I would be willing to just spread that on uh, a toasted bagel or something. Oh yeah, that'd be good too. I found it. It's not in the pizza. Yahoo. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got quite the mess to clean up. And uh, got to get some clean towels out in this kitchen. So we're all done with those towels. Uh, I got to get that pizza. I'm going to eat the rest of my piece and maybe one other piece and the rest will be for my husband. And I'm going to enjoy my drink. Delicious. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Um, pizza and epic fail on the dessert pizza. But we will try again. I'm going to get it. I'm going, it's just a lot less butter, I think. Thicker, right? You know what I mean? So we're going to try it again. Or at least something to the to the sort of that. Maybe croissant. Put it inside a croissant. That would be good. Yeah, we'll try it like that. All right, have a great day. I will see you next time. Bye. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification because you don't want to miss this. <laughs>